<laughs> All right, guys, here we're talking about Iron Fist season two, episode seven. What'd you think? Um, what's up? This was. I laughed a lot. I've been laughing a lot recently as we as we watch episodes of our. Okay, uh, what what prompted the shows. laughter this time? We'll get to that. Um, I I was expecting uh, his leg to be amputated. What's my first note? Uh, surgery. I expected amputation. <laughs> So there's literally, it looks like, the, you know, Sam Raimi's uh, Spider-Man Doc Ock scene. There's like a doctor thing. Yes. And it pans across a table with all these cruel instruments on it. And, I, and, and in my head, I'm like, three, two, it's the perfect time to bring up a big saw and just be uh, like, oh, no, this is crazy. But it's not. It's like a fucking stick, and then it cuts to like a yeah, it's drill. Yeah, it's a knee brace. And they're doing stuff. It's, it's, it's a Rand Corporation high-end pneumatic Batman kick leg thing or some shit that he doesn't, he's like, this is Rand's latest technology. It speeds the healing process. And I keep being like, why do you keep needing to make excuses to speed things up on your show? You had the, you had control over what happens in the first yeah, place. Yeah, you could have just not done just, something dumb. Just don't have him shatter his entire knee. <laughs> so I didn't realize he got Fuck. punched in the knee. I thought he got punched in, like, the yeah, shin. exactly. I yeah. thought, like, the lower leg was going to get just, you know, decimated. Me too, And yeah. the way, and, and the only thing that could really make any of this make sense is that the, the drugs were already taking effect so he wasn't at his full form. Because exactly. the man explodes like beams, <laughs> he breaks through walls, yes. he destroys everything he touches, and he punched you directly with your leg touching concrete. We've seen uh, even like Danny's ground pound which, yeah. you, we, which you can presume is even weaker than Davos's or whatever, right? Yes, you would 100% He that. punches the ground here and guys like 10 feet away fall down. Like yeah. The forces involved should be it like... It should have hurt Danny's head like, yes, it should have killed. Like, th there's the old thing with like, like if you are hit by like a lightsaber, the amount of energy your whole body should like explode or something yeah. like that. It's almost like that, or like you're being hit by something so ridiculous that it should just yeah. like, like end everything. And That's fine. On top though. of that, hey, let, let's listen. assume that it was a glancing blow or whatever sure. you have. And and this was even me thinking it wasn't the knee. Me was thinking this was like you know the yeah. bones. But like going to the knee, it should be powder. Like exactly. it should be, it should be something. There's nothing, there's nothing left. left to help. Um, whatever, yes. And they did not say he got a knee transplant. They didn't no. like, like they didn't, they didn't put a fake ball and socket joint in there, which exists. They, you can do knee replacement surgery yeah. and, and presumably Rand has the best, uh, but they didn't do that. They like you know they just they put screws in, adding more holes to what I imagine is already the most destroyed hey. knee ever. Holy nightmare! Yeah. Uh, that knee would have more holes in this plot. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, my God. Shots fired. Shots fired. Um, yeah. I don't know if we should. Let's just abandon that for now sure. and talk about Because then it cuts to the lackey, the guy. Yes. He's got a real eye patch now instead of that gauze thing. And Do you know he, why? I, 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 I looked at that, and, I, and okay. I, was like, I was like, he's tired of wearing that eye patch. <laughs> he, he, it's something now that is that is it is uh, like bubbled away from his eyelashes because I'm sure he was fucking going nuts with that oh, fucking okay. thing. Nice. That, that I was 100 because I'm like, yep, that was like a cushioned propped piece. Yep, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, what else would it be? Uh, a real eye patch. Oh, it's not a real eye patch. I, I believe that is a constructed eye patch. Real eye patches don't really look very like. And again, uh, he could have got a fancy one somewhere. He looks like he's a, a fancy eye. Yeah, he's like, uh, yo. It looked right, like the here. cushion you sit on if you have hemorrhoids on his eye. Nice. Um, I don't know, but I was like, thank God, because I was getting weird. Just get a real eye patch, because he looks like a pirate now instead of like a uh, a like medical thing or whatever, right? So uh -huh. I'm like, yeah. Um, and those stupid kids show up, and um, oh, the la the lackey fights the kids, and it's awesome. I'm yeah. like, oh, you're awesome. I forgot this show is about kung fu. This is great. Thank but, God. But he was like Luke Caging kung fu, where he was like just like rolling a guy away and doing yeah. a thing. And I was like, come on. Like, the fight scene felt really good. It, I, I, was, I was not impressed by it because of how it, none of it seemed like drop you punches. Like it was yeah. all just like, ah, da, da, this and that. Like, they, like th these are not people he, that are just fucking around with you. It seemed like he was handling everything. And I was like, okay, you're handling the situation. He was like toddler wrestling them is what it felt like yeah, to me. Yeah, but they, I mean, they got up. They were like, what the fuck, dude? And he's like, talk to the man. I'm not, yeah. I'll, I'll be in the car. And I was like, all right, this is awesome. This uh, guy. And then just Davos, like his whole like getting lackeys thing, I just, uh, like, it's not a surprise the show was canceled. Like, Okay, so we we've just heard the show is. I don't know if we if we were going to reveal that. But oh yeah, yeah, the, the people show's already been canceled. Know. 
Show's canceled. Which is crazy, because like I said, Twitter and some people in real life were, were you know, were saying, oh, oh, ha, you know, have you finished it yet? Because I heard, because like, I don't it was think it's good. anything to do with its its merit at all. I don't think what ratings do you think happened. Are, I think it's it's simply Disney going, no, we have a streaming service. We're canceling no, contracts. This no, is but we are saying that the show is not is not that good, and I'm not surprised oh, oh, it was yeah, canceled. Yeah. Other people are saying, oh, season two was really good. It's certain, like these are these episodes are better than the beginning half of the season, but they're still not great. No, and they, no. and we don't have many episodes left to make it amazing. Now, what do we have? Three episodes left. Three episodes. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's uh, eight, that's, nine, ten. That's not much. Yeah. So I can't believe. I think you called it, but I I even want to like interrogate you to find out why Davos is like recruiting the stupid kids. It gives him a speech and all that it's, stuff. It's so was it, weird. Was it because he you know he tried to recruit Danny? Is that what like tipped you off that he wants like a like a posse? Like, no, no. It seems it's, so strange. It's to that. Me. It's that this. Like most shows suffer, suffer from the same thing. The reason they are predictable is because they have a budget. And uh, while Netflix things have a higher budget than most things and are usually able to, to dance around and do things good with it, whenever you see characters multiple times, you're like, well, that's a recurring character. They can't oh. afford other characters. That, that person can be a thing here. I'm like, okay, that set can only be so much. We've seen that twice already. You, you, like, you just know if things I, are going to happen. I knew There's they'd gonna be on be... the show, but how would you guess that, that they were going to be tied to Davos? That's crazy. Oh, it, it's just natural progression. Why? Why? It makes absolutely no sense. Now, all the, like, I can't tell you what the cues were, okay. but but like they just they hammered all my things. Where I was like, "Yep, that's gonna it happen." Thing. Okay. Um, and, and it's the same way, you know, that uh, it's gonna be like the Danny thing from Ninja Turtles. Is that one kid's gonna like go with him, and then like, "No, I gotta go and help." <laughs> no, I gotta let Splinter <laughs> out. Like that's gonna be the I'm, thing. I'm so sorry because you like that's the voice everyone uses when it's the stupid thing. <laughs> but I'm in yeah. love. I have to go back. Yeah. No, no they're awesome. gonna. I would not even be surprised if Davos catches Danny and he literally releases. Danny, yep. just like the Splinter arc, just like, in time to mess up the ritual or change the thing. Something. Or to, uh, it better not. Okay. Uh, no, it, it's just it's it's you know it's predictable, and like there's only so many things in the world, and like even predictable things can be done well. Uh, they didn't do that. That's here. the whole thing, right? So it's, that's fine. Yeah, it's not just like like. Often when we watch something that I, and and I think it's bad, I make suggestions like just do the you know this thing, just do that thing, right? Because whatever they chose to do was this like awful thing, and I'm like, it's right there. Just make this character the one that does this, and then and and then do that. And you could say, well, that's cliche, and I'm like, well, it's much better than what they chose to do. Yeah. And you just want to hammer that. that that's always my sad thing is when I'm making my predictions. Like, and sometimes I don't say them all out loud, but I'll, I'll make my predictions, and I'm like, okay, this is what's going to happen because that's obvious. And yeah. then when it doesn't happen, I'm like. What the fuck were you doing? That like oh, you avoided an obvious thing to do this way worse thing. Yeah, or they like drop something or they mishandle something, right? And we're always like, hey, I mean, you were setting up. Like even here, we talked like a week or two ago, right? If they had like properly set up the fact that Danny was like addicted to using the fist, a uh -huh. lot of this would make more sense. And they even drop in lines every now and then of like Davos is not going to be able to stop. And I'm like, were those two things about like Danny keeps going out at night supposed to imply no. to me that he was like addicted to it? Like something had to come up where he should have stopped. He should have like let Colleen down where he was supposed to be somewhere, but he went out to fight crime instead. Like you had to set okay, something if up. If we're talking about unset up things <laughs> and things that are just done poorly, yeah. I can't possibly teach you again. I don't teach anymore. <laughs> it's not what I do. I gave up hamster style. I was like, just going to mention <laughs> hamster style. That's perfect. Yeah. It's just it's just, just one, one of these things where it's like there was no real crazy moment where yeah. you realized, oh, she was broken. She She's had enough. She can't do this anymore. But they lay it on so thick. Like, like I can't possibly help the one that I love and live with and, and have been fighting alongside for so long okay. because I don't so, train people anymore. So, I can't help you live, Danny. I can't help you learn to walk again. I can't teach you. So this is something where I, I, I have to go into it cautiously because I'm, I'm afraid I may have missed something or something like that. But mm. is she even supposed to be this amazing teacher? Yeah, she's a great teacher. She's a good teacher. She had like, but w Lee, are you forgetting she's the most powerful kung fu person in the world? Okay, I'm not. I try. I try not to look all the way over at your face, so I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. Sometimes we have met six people that know kung fu, and uh -huh. they are the most powerful kung fu people in the world. No, but she had these students, and like in season one, they show her like running around the city with with a sword and like dr yeah. drilling them and testing them and talking to them, and she seems competent. But I don't think that she's this 
this special person. Like, I, like okay, she trained Misty, and Misty seems like she's she's mm-hmm. benefited from it. But that alone is that all I'm supposed to use to think that she her t- tutelage will be this unique and and important thing for Danny. She is hand tested. Danny okay. approved. She does what she does, Lee. Uh, she hits people good. with a sword, and they automatically become better because of it. I I always love things okay. like this when she's when, like you know it's the again. Again, again thing. There's a certain point. You're just beating him up. Well, no, there's a certain point where, there, where it's like, I am now too tired to do the thing. I, I certainly can make that jump, but after six failed attempts, I no longer have the ability to do it the movies, same way, so movies, it's not going to happen. Movies but do not do that. Movies that. Yeah. do not do that in any way. And it's like, all right, let's railed you in the shin with this like heavy wooden sword. Come at me again. All right, railed you in the shin twice. Now, like, you should be having difficulty walking, but you're going to get better. Keep going. All right, you see how I concussed you? This is all you're not dizzy at all. Let's go one more time. This is all going to turn around soon. Don't worry. Trust me. Um, they did mention about how she hung up her sword and she doesn't want to pick it up again. So, like, I was expecting something to happen where Misty's looking for her and she looks over and, and like the, the sword's, sword's gone. gone. Yeah, that'd be great, right? <laughs> that seems very simple. No, <laughs> but why but, was it this instead? Well, how about how about like? Why is Danny, like, Jean-Claude Van Damme kicking down a tree in the apartment? Like, he's punching through pillows into the studs. There's, like, deep crevices. He is beating the shit out of those things. And I'm like, is Danny... Danny's just a person, right? What, like, but aside from that, even when he was the Iron Fist, was he not one of the best fucking kung fu fighters just to be able to become the Iron Fist? What training does he need, and why would he need it from a mortal? I understand he's mortal, but he is the immortal Mar- Iron Fist. Like, okay. why does he need any training? Is, is he, does he need training now with his new injury because he's never had to fight injured before? That doesn't seem true. What does he need? Is he going to learn a sword? Doesn't seem like it. Like, what is he trying to accomplish here, aside from infuriating me with stupid shit? If he yeah. can already punch through wooden beams, and, and, like, everything he does, he does almost all of it without glowing his fist. He glows yep. the fist, like, three times an episode. It's like a he, finishing move. The rest of the time, he is a... kung fuing people. Yep, it's like an area of effect attack or, like, a finishing move. It's It shouldn't... So, unless they're trying now to imply... That, that it has boosted his all altogether, which, which I've always thought, but which they've never they've actually never expressed. Said. And um, none of that should require training, because as you said, he was raised by warrior monks who trained him. Yes. So, like, th- they didn't even set anything up where, like, I just rely on the fist now, and I've, like, forgotten my no. training. Like, there's nothing to set up the fact that he should need to be trained. It, and, it they just... play, and they play this music as if we're supposed to be like, oh, it's happening. <laughs> It's so dumb. It, I, I was just, I felt insulted by that yeah. scene, and it just, it didn't do anything for me. It just, it seemed like a waste and a, like, so, you know, like, sometimes, like, they backpedal to do things in shows or, like, you know, as a flashback. It felt like the opposite. It felt like they went back and just erased some of my information. Like, it's like, I guess he's not a good kung fu fighter at all. Let's just get rid of that detail. Right. I, like, oh, I guess he wasn't trained. I guess he didn't have to prove by fighting that he was a competent warrior. Let's erase that part, too. Like, what are you even trying to say to me here? And I, if it's solely the knee injury, I'm like, all right. Is, is she like? Does she train disabled people? Like, That's what? What, I'm what does she bring to the table like, here? There's does no he s- not have all the groundwork that he could just do it again? No, and like, like during this whole sequence, I was struggling with all these things that, that you know that you're talking about, and it seemed like there was something where he just needed someone to like bounce stuff off. I of get to needing a sparring out. partner. Yeah, but that shouldn't be this dramatic. Like, okay, I've uh, you know because these she like slams the door and he's like fine I'll do it myself and he ruins their apartment and then she comes yeah. out with her hair up like let's do this thing what thing what are we doing oh it was infuriating yeah, thank you I didn't like it I'm all. glad we're on the same page uh, here I don't see how it's possible we would not be but still uh, and and then him like you're gonna see in the matter of like between now and the no, next na- episode now he's, he's gonna have trained now he's these, like homeless kids to be like oh, like you okay. know on par with Danny where he's actually gonna have to like oh it's difficult oh I have to blah blah I was just gonna oh, say oh it's so yeah. hard but now but now Danny has what he needs somehow after yeah. this one thing I hope we're not missing something but I think it's on them at this point if we are because man nothing is being missed I I assure you all right. Um, leading up to that, there's some more investigation. Misty's uh-huh. out there doing whatever. Yeah, um, she finds some scrolls she, and some uh, bullshit. Again, 
almost to subvert my like usual expectations um she like talks to a cop who's kind of like this is nice killing all the bad guys but then they have a whole exchange where she's like no 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 no. the guy i'm talking about the good guy has a yellow fist this guy has a red fist (laughs) again with this weird anime color coding of the fists where like most shows just ignore that because everyone's like that cop where they think, eh, it's a guy with a glowing fist. It must be the guy, or whatever. It's just this, like, normal thing. Yeah. But here, for some reason, Misty has to keep bringing up that, oh, no, no, that there's a system of colors. He's a He's Sith. trying to help. This one's yeah. just trying to kill. He's a Sith, right? Which would make sense if they both still had glowing fists. But now you could just be like, oh, no, no. He's it's a mu- always been that guy, he, yeah. He's a much shorter, different-looking guy who's a whole different guy. This guy, who doesn't even have a glowing fist anymore, is the guy I'm talking about helping. Like, it's very, like, what's happening? It's very strange. And if they, but even still, if they just wanted to arrest a guy with a glowing fist, yeah, yeah, that's that guy right He's there. there. Arrest look, him. Look at his fist. Yeah. <laughs> it's glowing. <laughs> Real quick, so when Danny... <laughs> When Danny comes home and he's all, like, distraught, I fucking cracked up so hard. Part of what he says is, like, he's out there with two fists. <laughs> it was so dumb. It was amazing. Because I've been joking for seven episodes now, making, like, like uh, fisting jokes or whatever the fuck. To have him literally spell it out, like, oh, he's out there with two fists. <laughs> like, it's so ridiculous. And it's all, like, shaking his head and just being like, oh, my God, like, how am I supposed to do this? He's limping around and all this crap. It was awful. I, I wanted, at, at any point, Misty to be like, all right, I've got a plan. What is it, Misty? I'm going to shoot him in the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's all it would take. That's all it would take. Ugh. And honestly, oh, well, then we can't get the fist out of like him ba- and like no, back we into can. Danny. Well, maybe we can. I don't know. Um, you, you just need the dead body no, to cut the tattoo off he, of. He had to transfer it from Danny, though, too. It was a whole complicated, I stupid guess. thing. I, I don't, feel like listen, that part's already inside him. They could have made all that up. It's totally fine and like fixed it that way, too. Um, but I forget what I was going to say. Um Okay, so like shooting Davos in the head, even if you you know the power of the fist is now lost forever, that's for the best. You're just back to where you were sure. before, and the guy with the bum leg and uh, Colleen and the billions just, of dollars and the billions of dollars can just live their lives and and like be fine. It's not like it's not like Danny is slowly dying without the fist. No, right? It's not like there's they didn't set anything up where this is important to even happen. And it's not like Danny we we we, we never even got to see Danny doing that much with the fist in any of these previous you things. Only we actually have the fist to defend this place you're not defending anymore anyway so it wouldn't even it, would, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't even be that be big a of a loss for the world it would be like a net lateral move or something sure. to just shoot davos in the head but like, honestly even just letting davos do what he's doing he, he's he is only killing criminals yeah uh and he has a very loose guideline of which ones deserve to die or not but as that cop did point out, you're, you're, he's cleaning up the city. So this is right. This is uh, this is a, a a good place to slot in. He kills those junkies. He yes. kills. Uh, they probably what's his shouldn't name? have died. Probably not. And his lackey kind of reacts like, "Damn, okay, ooh, all right." Uh, I'll be like, "Ooh, like, it's a whole thing." Um, but that's fine. That's like the normal superhero, supervillain questions about like whatever. It's the Death Note question. Uh, he had a, he had a okay. phrase it nicely where. Uh, like the poison was killing them. I just sped it up or something like that. The process, and I, I like that. He is, <laughs> yeah. There's something about Davos though that I just, I just don't like him. Uh, I think yeah. he's just too small. Interesting. Like, I like, I want my bad guy to be this like, and I, and it does, it does flip on its head Racist. like a lot of things about bad guys and like you know expectations and whatnot. Mm. Him being like a five foot tall, nothing looking guy, <laughs> is is interesting I, to be the, the the big bad. I never even thought about any of that until Ward is like Davos. Like, like little Davos. Yeah, I thought it was awesome. Because yeah. he's fucking tiny. I never even thought about it. Uh, in in the world of kung fu and stuff, again, that that's I don't that see is color. The realm. Yeah, it's not a color. Uh, <laughs> I don't see shortness. The color. Because how how tall was Bruce Lee? I bet he was fucking tough. Yeah, they're tiny. Uh, but yeah, they're powerful, and, yeah. and he does have these 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 weapons. But now he's got the fists. Fists fist of fury. I don't know why he wants to like the explanation given for wanting to train people makes no sense. Why is his accent Australian? I don't know. His mom's Danny, wasn't. Donnie's coming back. And his, I don't know. I think his dad no. was that other judge guy, so. <laughs> I don't know. Is he supposed yeah. to be Indian? He doesn't look or sound. I don't Indian. know. It's fine. It's fine. Who cares? It's fine. Never it's been explained. It's just canceled. It's not a problem. <laughs> uh, Luke Cage also canceled the RIP. Oh, God. We, we, we'll, we'll talk about that later. So what else happens in this episode? Um, oh, so Walker's arc 
is is a little interesting. Walker uh, and Mary. Mary finally kind of just gives up after yeah. after talking with uh, Joy. She talks to Joy. We get a flashback where we see, which, I mean, this is bad, but I always like it. You know what would have been good, though? What? So so she's in, like, you know, a like underground trap thing, and that's where yeah. the split personality disorder, like, you know, I guess first and arose it's, to try like, to help her through this And there's, this like, a storm, time. so there's flashing lightning and, like, water, and that's why yes, those, that, are those are the those triggers. Are triggers. I'm like, oh, okay. But it sounded yeah. like there was also, like, a fight or a skirmish happening outside, yeah. and I wanted I wanted that to be a cameo from the Punisher. I wanted oh her to get pulled out God, by him. Wonderful. And then later on, you, you could have something like, like, oh, we finally got you out. And, and that could re... Uh, instill some idea as to why she is this badass trained fighter if she was like someone on his team and they were peers like oh, oh we were the best of the best like la la something like that's well you wonderful. saved my ass so many times and, and like something like that and I would be like alright okay be wonderful. now it's all payoff <laughs> but they didn't do that I need a minute I'm so upset <laughs> <laughs> that would have been wonderful. You just yeah, got John Bernthal. I'm 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 pretty good at, at predictions for wonderful. things that don't happen. Oh my god! Were you predicting that leading up to when he first started to paint the picture? The second I saw like, her in oh, that flashback, I was like, "Yep, like this is going to happen thing. right now." Nope. No, that would be too good. It would be too good. <laughs> That's really upsetting. I think that would have been great though, because this whole time you're like, like I can't stand the idea that everyone we meet is the most powerful <laughs> person ever. So yeah. just give me a little bit of groundwork. Yeah. Like, let me know why. And, and like, it's not like oh. you came upon her randomly. She was hired because she is the best. But it, it just, it's infuriating that everyone we meet is so good. Can't we get a couple of jocks or the mighties up in this bitch? Like, I need somebody who sucks. No, and it's really, like, um, that's... I liked the uh, Crane Sisters fight in the previous episode or two yeah. ago, whatever. I think because it, it, it made me feel like I was watching, like, um, an action cop, kung, you know, kung fu show. Uh-huh. Right? Because that's where I think the show sometimes, uh, you know, is good and, like, makes sense. When it's not a superhero show. Right? Yes. I, I like, jo you know, Joy and Ward and, like, the espionage family, ad you know, rich, you know, shares and yeah, stakeholders. Yeah, Ward grown on me. And I like um, when it's just, like, they're, like, investigating and they go somewhere and, like, a fight breaks out. But it's like an episode of Kung Fu The Legendary Journeys or something like that. It's mm -hmm. just, like, a corny, we're just going to fight in this place. So, like, th once the superhero stuff comes into play, like you said, why don't they just shoot that guy in the head? Well, no one else should be able to fight him. Why is that guy, holding, you know, holding him back? What's going on, right? And, like, in, like, in like the other shows for Marvel's thing, you do, like, you don't necessarily have that in the same way. Right. Yeah. This has like the worst and like the most thing where it's like, well, if that guy had, had a gun, it would just be over. Right. You never think that in Luke Cage because of the nature of, of yes. Luke Cage. Jessica Jones gets shot and she's yeah. like, what the fuck? Or whatever. And you're like, oh, shit. OK. And like everything makes sense. And they're not mm -hmm. in these situations where there are where, where, where you're like, well, that shouldn't happen like that. What are you talking about? You know? I I would still if if I was in uh, especially Jessica's position would be covered in like Kevlar and a yeah, helmet yeah, yeah. and shit. No, I know. Because she could take the actual physical blow, but you, you could shoot her in the head. It killed her mom. Like Exactly, and she doesn't usually put herself in situations, right? Like, even in, like, Luke Cage Season 2 when he teams up with the bad guy for the one scene, uh -huh. um, a dude shows up with a gun, and Luke, like, steps in front of the guy to, like, stop the bullets because that yeah. guy's not 100% bulletproof, right? Mm -hmm. They have a whole... There's, like, a system. He does that for Danny uh, during the Defenders, right? And yep. you're like, okay, this all, like, makes sense. It isn't like they're like, oh, no, well, the guys... The, the criminals that he meets never have guns, though. I yeah. don't know why. It's this weird and thing. And they could have painted that because yeah. they kind of did. But it, but if you ever see a gun, you know they exist. And yeah. at a certain point, uh, the, the mafia well, is not retarded. They're, they're yes. going to be like, you know what? Axes might not be have the best thing to fight this guy. Have we thought about shooting a guy? We're, we're, we're bad guys. Have we I thought think about we could Google him. He's very famous. Maybe blow up his house. Kind of, right? Something. And, like, in season one, their angle was, well, he's going to fight, like, Venom Spider Kung Fu Witch Lady, and that's going to explain why or uh -huh. whatever. And I didn't like that. So now we're no. shifting to, like, oh, you know, well, this is Marvel Netflix. This is Netflix Marvel, so it's, like, grounded. So everything's going to be grounded. But you didn't have any, again... I don't know why I need an excuse, but yes, <laughs> I need I, I I need something to justify no, the world working the way that it it's works. It's not like we can get a, a big change for season three. I know that's so the saddest it, thing. It's, ever. it's a little frustrating because I I do think it would not have been canceled traditionally if Disney wasn't doing their uh, their business here now. 
that's probably what's behind it. But I'm yeah. I'm I'm interested to see well, how this. Well, like I could see I could see this getting canceled. But then the second they announced Luke Cage getting canceled, I was like, nope, this is a financial business <laughs> move. Well, so I wonder if they have the ability to pick them up on their streaming service yeah. or not, or if it's just dead and, and new some, casts are coming. I heard some rumors that they're that they're thinking about it, but that the contract, the way it works, they're not sure how everything. Because uh-huh. if, if like if like, like they couldn't pick up because the writer like, and what like if the guy who plays Luke Cage is contracted to Marvel, then it's yes. fine. Yes, yes. If the guy that if the if the guy who I, I'm sorry I don't know your name plays Luke Cage is contracted to uh, Netflix, then they're going to be like, no, fuck you. And part yeah. of it, they said, like, negotiations got rough because Netflix was like, listen, we are, like, hyping up your universe by having these shows. Fuck you. And Marvel was like, listen, no. <laughs> yeah. Disney was like, listen, no. You don't have as much leverage as you think you do. We could just cancel that show. And then they were like, fuck, okay. No, it, it's rough, though, because, like, they do make quality shows while, uh, you know, this one is not as good. It's still better than a lot of things. Yes. And uh, it's annoying to see just them die, not because they're not talented or not because they're not getting ratings, not viewership. Because yeah. they're just like ah, politics. Well, and the saddest part is that in the modern world of like superheroes and universes and all mm-hmm. that stuff, when things go off the rails, it can and and does often result in like recasting and reimagining yes. the whole thing. And you're like, well, I liked that one guy. Come on. And most yeah. likely, the Disney streaming service will be not the same style. Yes. Yeah, probably it will not It'll be as light and for kids and real. Yeah. Uh, so it's all over. I hope that this season doesn't end in like a crazy cliffhanger. The last thing here is is Ward. I'm sure it will. Here's Ward's arc. Yeah, uh, he fucking falls off the wagon, goes to like a a bar. Um, his sponsor shows up, storms out. It all escalates into this pathetic bar fight that I loved so that much. That was such a real drunk it was bar amazing. fight. Anytime you fight a drunk person when you are sober, it is like you are in max pain. <laughs> yes, and, you and have like, bullets. Yeah, yes. that's what it's like. It was amazing. There, there's a sweet spot when someone can be just a little drunk, where they're where, where they're, they're loose, where yeah, they're, they're feeling it. And yeah. like not feeling it in in other ways. Okay. But yeah, but but no, this, this was that was beautiful. No, the guy was perfect. The way that it escalated, I was I was a huge fan of that whole thing. Where he's like, no, I'm spending the day in this disgusting, piss smelling. Hey, and the guy's over there, and he's like, yeah. but and but even that, they they don't cut it so that Ward looks cool. They hang on like the wide shot where yes. it looks awkward and shitty. I was like, man, this is great. Because well, yeah, just his, make a spinoff show about Ward. His true like being a dick really shines. Was like, I'm t- I'm. I pay you. I'm, I'm giving paying. you so much tip. You fuck. Fuck. I deserve you. some respect. But then it. But but they don't cut back to him turning back to his sponsor and talking. They hang on that shot mm-hmm. of the bartender being like, "What? Like, no, what the fuck?" He's just looking at him like, "Buddy." And then when he's because every time he like because like Ward winds up and telegraphs this giant yes. punch, and the guy just does this and like hits him, and then he's like, "Are we good?" And the guy and he's like. Ugh. Like gets up again. All that. I was, I was so yeah. good. I was. I had so much fun with this. It's wonderful. He's no, falling down. And then great. it ends. Uh, you know, after, with with him finding out yeah. that uh, his you know his girl is, is saying that she's pregnant to I to know. a group in in fucking chat, and they're like, oh, I, all right. I, she, I, she did invite you to that meeting too. You could have gone. I I would have I would have opened the door if I was Ward. But that's I think he should have I'm a more functional human being than I guess him, which is a low bar. But I feel like that's but who, when you he could have still been drunk. You know, whatever. yeah, you can go to a meeting drunk. That's the, that's I, why you go. I have the feeling though, him him going into that drunk and who he is, he might have made things much much worse. Oh yes, it would have made so things worse. But I think he should have probably opened the door. better to take that knowledge, sit on it, sober up, act sure. upon it. Yes. Which He's calculated. He'll do something. I hope he does. My like honestly, my biggest fear was that sponsor lady becomes like a regular major character, but that's no longer a problem. So no fear now. <laughs> I don't have to worry <laughs> about that. But because we are just wrapping up episode seven, there's three left. Because he didn't open the door, that 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 arc now hangs out there, right? I wouldn't be surprised if she dies. Great. Okay. I would. So I like when shows end when they know that they're going to end. Yeah, this is not going to do that. Yeah, or if they'd been able to do like a Defenders like four to eight episode miniseries to end this stuff, to have stuff uh-huh. be like, okay, we're going to wrap up these plot lines. And then, have they made any public you know, announcement on Defenders now? Are we getting any more the, of that? The article that I read said like, and there are and there are no more plans for Defenders, so that leaves only uh, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Punisher as potential new new seasons. Yeah, or whatever. and, I was and like, potentially only the things uh, that have already been worked on. Yeah. 
which I which might <laughs> only be Daredevil and Punisher season two. Like Daredevil three just came out. I think people are basically saying four isn't a possibility at this point. So depending on on, on how three ends, Ugh. it's just gonna. That's my problem. Is like I need you to wrap it up. I want like yeah. like what The Walking Dead is maybe doing, where you know where someone says, or like the Fast and Furious movie series, where someone says, okay, we're, we're, you know it's gonna be this many films or this many seasons. Yeah, like Breaking Bad was like this is our last season. Okay, and you go into it, and from from episode one of the season, you are setting up the arc that's gonna complete with yeah. the series ending. These are just gonna stop, and we're gonna be like, what? <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, with cliffhangers and all. What a pain in the ass. It's gonna be this weird thing that we all look back on, like, oh, remember that? Yeah, should I watch it? No. Yeah, because even if just... they continue it over on their streaming service, it will. It can't actually be the same. No, 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 no. And like for all the things, even that if I... they wanted it to, it couldn't. Yeah, be the same. no. Like even as in like like the things um, that I like as like a nerd, because I think. Uh, Daredevil and Luke Cage like look a little better. I I, I don't know who runs the shows or something like that, but the cinematography and the color and the music and all that stuff, uh-huh. I really like those shows. And they would never get like the whole team, if, you know, no. if they continued it. It would be whoever they used to make their shows or some new team or something like that. And yeah, it's a whole mess. It's sad. Yeah. Uh, anything else in this episode? Uh, not really. I guess we're gonna see how how well that training pays off for yeah for Danny. All right, three more to go, guys. Uh, let us on the comments what you thought about it. This is what we thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, Internets. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. (laughs) Uh, Peace out, homies.